Daniel in Torrance, California, how are you? Oh, I'm doing well. Good afternoon, Matt and Tracy. Good afternoon. Huh? What I wanted to talk about is a little more of a complaint than a question. Um, I think that it's, it's really problematic when, when atheists call religious people crazy or, or say that religion is a mental illness. Okay, and, and do we say that? Is, uh, do we say that? Yes, I, I have heard it on this show many times. You, you've heard on this show somebody saying that religion is a mental illness? Callers or hosts? Because I don't recall ever saying that at all, and it's not the sort of thing I would support. Well, maybe not, maybe not uh, specifically you, Matt, or and maybe not that, that exact phrase, but the, the word crazy, at least, does get thrown around a lot. Crazy is a colloquialism that also refers to irrationality, and I have no problem at all pointing to something that is irrational and identifying it as crazy. Crazy is not a, a diagnostic term. Well, that, that, that's fair to, to have that, that understanding of the word, but surely you also recognize that not everyone who's listening is going to understand the, the specific definition of the word you're using. Most of people are going to hear crazy and they're going to think you are referring to mental illness. No, I'm not aware that that's what the, most people are going to think. Why do you think that most people would think that? Especially given the number of times we've talked about the fact that um, we used to be religious, we don't view it as a mental illness, we view it as mistakes in thinking, that we were wrong, that we don't think religious people are necessarily uh, stupid or unintelligent or anything along those lines. I mean, I don't know how many times we've, we've said that. Um, and not only that, but when we talk about something, something being crazy or irrational, we're talking about the idea and not the individual. I mean, I can't count the number of times I've, I've come on to say that if I say somebody's being an idiot or a moron, that that's true for all of us at some point about something, and I'm not summarizing somebody's entire character. I, I, I don't know how you get to, to this idea that most people are going to think we're actually claiming that religious people are mentally ill when I, I think in many occasions we've gone out of our way to say the exact opposite. If I thought somebody was mentally ill, if I thought their religion was, it was a result of mental illness, why would I spend time arguing and discussing and educating people? Uh, because it seems clear to me that my, my intent is to change their mind, and I have to think that they're capable of changing their mind, which I don't have any good reason to think that's the case if I had presumed that this was the, uh, due to mental illness. Well, that's, uh, that's very nice to, to hear that that is not the opinion of this show, although I, I will insist that there is very much a, a widespread in the atheist community in general of, of the, the sentiment. Yeah, there, there's a lot of stuff that is widespread, especially in online atheist community, which I'm not even sure qualifies as a community or part of the movement. Um, there are a lot of assholes who say all kinds of stupid things repeatedly um, to anybody and everybody and about everything. Okay, I, I'd, I'd love to fix that, which is... Uh, unfortunately, I can't, uh, despite being the Pope of Atheism, I can't dictate what people can and can't say. But I, I agree with you uh, that, you know, religion should not be portrayed as a mental illness. As a matter of fact, Daryl Ray's book um, portrays it as a virus. Richard Dawkins talks about it as a, as a meme. Um, I'm not aware of any significant prominent atheist or, or even group of atheists that portray religious ideas um, as the result of mental illness. Now, perhaps uh, irrationality and, you know, non-chronic mental defects, but not mental illness. Well, it, it sounds like we're not going to have uh, a whole lot more uh, discussion because we agree with each other. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys get to other calls. Have a nice day. Sure. Well, Thanks, thank man. you. So the lines were empty, but now they've all filled up again, just in the, in the span of time between me getting ready to say, hey, the lines are empty. Um, so we'll, we'll give them a couple minutes to screen. Kind of, to screen through there. But I don't know, you didn't, I, I took that whole call, so I don't know if you had any extra comments on. No, it's interesting. I mean, I've been, I've been reading a little bit about like um, 
ableist slurs and things mm -hmm. like that. And so, you know, I, I, ha I have some, I've heard some ideas about it that make me think twice that maybe I should select a word if I'm going to go with something colloquial and maybe choose something like wild, like that is just a wild idea to say something like that, or that's just, that's really far out there. Or, you know, I, I've, I don't think it's completely um, off the wall what they're saying, and I think sometimes it, there, there are these words that sort of devolved out of slurs against mentally ill people or that mm -hmm. were used to describe mentally ill people that are now slurs that aren't used as much to de describe mentally ill people, but the people that are mentally ill still have these associations. So I do understand when people in that community are saying, I he hear this word that is, it, it is still used about them. It, you know, like people sure. might not say it to their face, but they know that their friends or family may say these things or people that are in association with them. And so if somebody is a little bit mentally ill, sometimes people will say, you know, there's something really wrong with them. They're kind of crazy. Or, and it does get used in that capacity. You are looking at it like, well, people use it broadly as like this broad term of, you know, a, just a wild idea or a far out idea, um, an irrational idea. And that's true. But I'm not in a community that is a person who walks around knowing that behind my back people are whispering crazy. Sure. So to them, it has more of, I think, a, a, a painful impact that the rest of us don't really think about. And I've thought about that a bit, and I, I think there's, that that's kind of a valid point. So, so let, me, let me toss out a quick hypothetical while, while we're waiting on the screen. Here's a person who's mentally ill. Mm -hmm. Why is it worse to say that they're crazy than that they're mentally ill, when both of those are used as an assessment of what appears to be a defect? Because crazy carries with it a lot of negative association that mentally ill doesn't. Mentally ill has its own associations, but it's at least like an accurate term, whereas crazy seems to be just sort of a, a blanket term that is almost comes with like a disparaging thing. Like I said, you wouldn't say to somebody's face, well, you're crazy. I mean, if they were mentally ill and you were trying to explain that, I wouldn't tell a mentally ill person that they were crazy. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell them. a mentally ill I person that, that they're mentally ill either. Because I'm, I'm, I'm not in the position of, of you know... No, I'm not nothing. saying evaluating them. Sure. But I'm saying if you have a friend who is mentally ill and you would talk to them, it's like, you know, your mental illness, blah, 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 and you might be describing that or talking to them about it. But I wouldn't say, yeah, your craziness or, you know, your, your moronic attitude or your, your idiot view or your idiot perspective. You wouldn't use those words. But those are words that were used to describe people that were mentally ill in the past. And crazy is thrown around currently. Um, as a term that people would use behind somebody's back, but they wouldn't generally use it to their face. So it's got more of a disparaging bent to it. Okay. I, st I still think I'm kind of okay with, with the colloquial because it's not a diagnostic, but then I'm, I'm not in that position. Will it takes a little while to get used to it, but I mean, people make the same argument about other disparaging terms like gay. There are some people who are just like, I don't mean gay to be homosexual. When I'm using gay, I'm using it negatively, but it's not, I'm not you know, talking about you know, homosexual people. Sure. But there's still this disparaging connotation that is you know, th levied at the homosexual community when that term is used by certain other people. So there's this association that still exists. Yeah, I think part of it is it, it goes back to what I was talking about, about, you know, you're being moronic or idiotic or things like that. And, and that's something that I changed where, it, where I, I tried to change, where I'm not saying you are a moron, but you are being <laughs> moronic um, in this context. Because, uh, first of all, uh, there, there seems to be this assumption that you're making a value judgment about the individual. Like, there are, there are some people who, uh, let's say, are crazy. Yeah. Does that mean that this is their fault or this, there's something about them that we're going to view, you know, uh, I mean, it, it's definitely a negative characteristic, the idea that, you know, well, you're irrational. Generally, yeah. Yeah. And so if you are irrational and I say you're irrational, that's preferable to saying you're crazy. Maybe not to the person you're speaking to, but to somebody who's mentally ill that hears the conversation. Okay. Yeah. The person you're speaking to probably isn't going to like it any better, no matter how you frame it. I'll go with that for now. <laughs>